Yo, it's your boy Molly Mall, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. For sure. As soon as you walk in this trap house, business is business. Hey, hey, business is business. Uh, business is business. Hey, hey. Alright, so we got Molly Mall of Trapped Out Apparel off the porch with us today. How you feeling, bro? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, I appreciate you coming down, uh, making that drive today, for right? Sure. I appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, no problem, man. So, um, man, talk to us about Aiken, man. Aiken, South Carolina, right? Yeah, I'm from Aiken. Okay. Yeah, uh, what you want to know about it? Man, what goes on in there? I ain't never been there. Just tell me. Paint Aiken, a picture of it. It's a, it's a small city. You know what I mean? It ain't really big like Atlanta or nothing like that. Uh, everybody know everybody. Um, you know, it's basically made for, like, old folks that retire, I would say. You oh, know yeah. What I'm saying? It ain't really, like, for young people. But, you know, it's a small city. Okay. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your childhood growing up there? Childhood? My childhood was straight. Yeah. Like, you know. My mama did a thing, for sure. Like, I was a sport, young nigga, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, school came around, um, shoes, clothes, Christmas came around, basketball goals, PlayStation, shit like that. Like, yeah, my mama definitely did a thing. Okay. Yeah. Did you go to college? Yeah, I went to college. I dropped out, though. I went to Greenville Tech. Okay. Uh, I probably did, like, a couple months or something like that. It really wasn't my vibe. Yeah. I ain't really on the books. What were you studying? I, what was I studying? Like, I think I was doing like HVAC, air condition or something. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Just trying stuff in and out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so growing up, did you know, what, what did you think you were going to be when you got older? Uh, I don't know. I just knew I was going to be an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? I knew no nine to five wasn't really my vibe like that. Like, I ain't really like the fact that, you know, you can't be on your phone. You can't eat when you want to eat. You know what I mean? You can't take a break. So I already knew, like, entrepreneurship was my route. I just didn't know what it was. I was trying a lot of stuff like real estate, forex, cryptocurrency, shit like that. But, you know, everything ain't made for everybody. So I had to find my lane. So I feel like trapped out clothing was my, uh, was my lane. Okay. Yeah. So how'd you get into that? How'd you get into the apparel game? Uh, be honest, I had read a book, you know, when I was going through my process trying to get rich, I read a book by Steve Harvey, At Like Success, Think Like Success. And basically he was telling you about like, you know, how to be successful. You got to find your passion and whatnot. And I was like, shit, what the hell my passion is? And so I was like, uh, basically he was saying like, your passion is something that you, uh, that you want mind doing all day for free. You know what I mean? So I was like, shit, I like to get fresh. You know what I mean? I really can't dress because I'm a country ass nigga, but I can get fresh. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I said, shit, I might as well start a clothing brand. And so I started a clothing brand like, you know, it's stuff like this, like hoodies, jumpsuits, sweatsuits, uh, you know, leggings, stuff like that, something that I personally wear. And for the women apparel, if I had a girlfriend, that's what I'd put her in, you know what I mean? So that's how I came with uh, my clothing line or whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Do you design your own clothes or do you have a graphic designer or? Yeah, so what I did is I had the, I had the vision in my head with the trap dart with the A or whatnot. And so I met, met a dude on Fiverr.com and I gave him my idea and he brought it to life. Okay. You know, um, yeah, he made a house or whatnot. He, he, he did the whole house by itself. I chose the lettering style, you know, how big I want the font. But other than that, I designed everything. Okay. Were you always creative growing up? Yeah, I was, yeah, I, yeah, I would say. Creative, yeah, excuse me. Yeah. So why Trapped Out? What's the meaning behind Trapped Out? Trapped Out, it basically means like you get to the money. You know what I mean? Like you actively get to money. It ain't no past tense or future tense. Like you got to be getting to the money like right, right now. You know what I mean? So for example, if I call you right now, and you on the clock, you can be working at McDonald's. Like, shit, I'm gonna hit you back. You know what I'm saying? I'm trapped out. Like, you get into the money right now. So that's how I came with trapped out. Okay. What was your initial investment? How much did you invest into your company at first? Uh, at first, I don't know. I kind of went ahead first. I, I, I think I probably invested like, I say about like 1500 or something like that for the heat press machine. Uh, my investments, like learning how to sew. I took a little sewing class or whatnot. Um, uh, logos, you know, getting, uh, getting inventory back and forth, like, you know, trying a little test, my little test, uh, test fabrics, stuff like that. I say about like 15, a hundred. Okay. Just playing with, playing, playing with stuff around or whatnot. That's not bad though. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't too bad. So yeah. And talk to us about how much work is required to start your own business though. It's a lot of work, man. Like, you know, uh, doing your due diligence, you know, looking up on the internet, finding out how to do the heat press, 
finding out the best marketing schemes. Um, uh, it's a lot of factors play in it. Like, um, you know, just, just really reading books and, 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 and YouTube. You know what I mean? I like to call it YouTube Universal. Everything on YouTube. So I say a lot of hours just, just trying to perfect everything. Yeah. Did your family and friends support your dream of, you know, starting this out? Not really. You know what I mean? Like my friends and my family they ain't really, you know, you know, your friends and family ain't going to believe until you till strangers start clapping for you anyway. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, it, it was it, what it is with them. And my advice to anybody, like, go ahead and tell your friends and family what you got going on right now. You know what I'm saying? To go ahead and get that out of the way. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people got to understand, like, it ain't the fact that your mom and daddy don't believe in you. It's like they've been knowing you since you was five years old. So it's like I've been telling you, I, you know what I'm saying? I used to give you whoopings, telling you when to come home at night and you trying to tell me you're going to be a millionaire or you're going to be successful. It's not that they don't believe. It's like it's hard to believe like somebody I raised. You see what I'm saying? Like I would say I, I would say that that's that's how family and friends. Yeah. Did that motivate you to go even harder? Kind of like put a chip on your shoulder, like, man, let me prove them wrong? Or did it kind of discourage you? Like, damn, I expected these folks to support me right Yeah, at first I was on like, damn, like, y'all ain't fucking with me. But then I was like, it is what it is. Turned me up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So what separates Trapped Out from, you know, all these other brands that are out here right now? Shit. Really, I just think my shit hard, you know what I mean? It's, it's just hard, like it's plain and simple, you know what I mean? It ain't flamboyant, it's just, it's just simple. And I feel like my, my, uh, my clothing line, like it got a meaning behind it. I feel like everybody needs to make a clothing brand that got emotions behind it. So when you see Trapped Out, you know what I mean? You, you already know like it's about some money, you know what I mean? So if you a hustler nine times out of 10, you gonna rock with it, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's what make mine stand out, like there's a lot of emotions behind it. Yeah. yeah. So what was the feedback uh, right away when you f first started releasing it, posted it online? Oh, like the city was rocking with me. Like shout out to my city. Like everybody was supporting it. You know what I mean? Like that shit down there went viral. You know what really? I mean? Yeah, yeah. That shit did numbers for real. Did it take you long to make that 1500 right back? Not really. We talking about like the first day I launched back, I don't double back. You know what I mean? <laughs> there yeah, it is. Like, it was a good success. Yeah. So what, what's some of your keys, uh, you know, for being successful on your own as being an entrepreneur? Grinding hard and stay focused, you know what I mean? Stay sucker free, you know what I mean? Like, just staying sucker free. Like, don't be trying to jip nobody or don't be trying to get over nobody, you know what I mean? And uh, grind it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you remain focused? Just think about the end result, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people got to know that your life already made, you know what I mean? God already created the end result first, you know what I mean? So once you figure that it's already planned and you're already gonna be successful at the end of the day, just go with the flow, you know what I mean? Whatever come, come with it, you just gotta learn from it. That's how I go with it. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since your business been taking off, have you been able to hire other employees or are you still doing everything yourself? Yeah, I'm still doing everything myself. Some people have been reaching out, you know what I mean? But I don't think I'm on that big scale yet to put nobody, you okay. know, in position to work for me, but it's coming soon though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what all do you have available right now? We know the hoodies, um, what else you got? I got the hoodies, uh, the women's sets, I got leggings, I got, uh, I got slides, I got face masks, I got t-shirts, I got, uh, Really everything that's chill clothes, you know what I mean? Anything that's chill clothes and comfortable, I got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a website set up where people can purchase from? Yeah, it's called trapped.apparel.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instagram, the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Is it available in any stores or can they pull up on you to get it? Nah, it's not in no stores, but it's coming soon. Uh, I was politicking with this dude back home. It's called the Retro Store. You know, we've been politicking and whatnot, so it's coming in there soon. Cause it's getting kind of hectic, like the online orders and meetups or whatnot. Yeah. So we're going to put it in stoves for sure. Yeah. Man, how you do all this by yourself? Because I know just shipping everything can be a bitch, man. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, staying focused. I don't know. Staying focused, like, locked in. That's what I can say. Yeah. Any plans to, like, open your own store one day? Nah, I don't really see myself open a storefront. You know what I mean? I just rather, you know, put it in stores and people to come up, you know, and I just hit them back at the end of the week or the month and come you know, get the check or whatnot and deal, but 
as far as like open my own store, man, nah. Do you get mostly uh, support back at home or are you been getting support all over the country now? It's all over. To be honest, I'm in Hawaii, London, uh, <laughs> Australia, Ohio, Atlanta, you know, South Carolina, of course, Florida. Like, it's, 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 it's definitely a lot of places, but mostly back home, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to collab with any rappers, any other brands? Yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, I definitely want to do some. I, I definitely want to do some work with CMG. You know what I mean? Yo Gotti, like, I def, I'm definitely motivated by Gotti. He inspired me. Uh, as far as rappers or whatnot, uh, I've been talking to Bootsy manager. You know, shout out to Jay. He, he linked up. He connected me and Bootsy together. Um, that boy Bank Road Freddy, his homeboy uh, Slick. You know, we was politicking and whatnot. So Bank Road Freddy got it. You know, they fucking with it. Other than that, that's about the two bit celebrities. Okay. That I've been, um, you know, that I got it too already. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, because I know that's big for, you know, clothing brands to take off. Just get a rapper to wear it and have them tag you. That'll definitely yeah. turn you up. Yeah, too, that'll man. definitely turn me up for sure. Yeah. Um, so what's some advice you would give some other entrepreneurs who are just starting out on how they, you know, just get a start? Mm. Come up with a blueprint and stick to it. You know what I mean? Don't let the distractions get to you. And like I say, keep grinding hard and stay focused. Yeah. This is about the best answer I can give you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, what, what's been some of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome in starting your business? Biggest obstacles? Is it just making people believe or? My biggest obstacle? Hmm. I don't really think I had no big out school yet. You know what I mean? Like I said, I already know the end result, so everything that come, I just go with the flow with it. Okay. Yeah. Where do you do mo most of your advertising? Is it just on uh, IG? Are you on Facebook or Twitter or anything? Yeah, I'm on all social platforms. Uh, mostly Facebook, though. That's why I get a lot of my support from IG Show Love, too. But uh, I say IG and Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next for you? What's next for Trapped At? Any other merch you're trying to get into? Uh, really, I just want to keep it simple and cheap. You know what I mean? I want to make it affordable. So I probably ain't going to go into high luxury clothing or whatnot, but just simple, basic clothing. You know what I mean? That's fresh. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Any last words? Any shout outs? Uh, you know, shout out to people that's helping me. Uh, other than that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Soon as you walk in this trap house, business is business, hey, business is business.